was, I was going to make the point that the NDC may be suffering also a leadership gap, you see. Take for instance, viewers, take for instance that if this man was the chairman of the party today, Kwesi Ahoy. Now, if you have Kwesi Ahoy as chairman of NDC today, you then have in that person the Kedah community, the PNDC, the Rawlins, the Mills, and, and th that kind of thing. You know, I, I think maybe the John Muhammad didn't think about it well, but if for John Muhammad's own interest as leader of the party to become flag bearer, he should have found somebody like that to chair the party because the party is a, a conflict-prone party, given its roots, its, its up background and all of that. So you have cadres, you have left wing in the left, you have right in the right, you have center. Many political parties have that, but the NDC particularly has the distinction between cadres and PNDC people, and you know, their grassroots is a bit dichotomized in that manner, okay? So you would have needed, at this time, a person like Kwesi Ahoy. If today Kwesi Ahoy was the chairman, resolving the issues between the caucus in parliament and all that has happened, yeah, yeah, you'll be able to do it. But your chairman is Asi Dunketia. They turn out radical. Who can't engage? Or you had maybe uh, Alhaji Muhammad Idrisu. You have Alhaji Muhammad Idrisu as the chairman of the party? Yes, yes. Then, then they, there's somebody who can bring the ethos of the party together and who can command the authority to pull people along and say, let's go this way, let's go that way. Or maybe you want a gender, you have a, like a Christina Mwakunyama. I don't know where she is these days. But you have a Christina Mwakunyama as chairman of the party. Yes, you have gone for the best and the brightest. And they can then sit in and deal with it. She's been minister of education for the longest time. And she understands the terrain. So she can now tell you, no, this is not how a party works. This is the way it works. You are more likely to get an Anakuni do Ajima Rollins back to the party in, in those circumstances. But you have Asiedu Nkatea as your chairman. Johnson Asiedu Nkatea, the internal radical. He just ask if you could write a letter and tell them that they are voting left. If they, then you go sit in the parliament and as we said, he makes himself like Peter Schmeichel. So that he will be seen and then the people will be afraid. The revolt was rife. And it has been spearheaded by some of the democratic elements. That's how we see it.